Hey, Brian Share Commando here, and I was just thinking on something. This happened, um, God, eight, nine years ago. But I was involved in a seven car pileup. And when I say involved, um, I actually wasn't hit, but the cars around me were. And I never came forward about this, but um, I was the guy listed in the Arizona news story as the Good Samaritan because I was running between cars. Um, there was a van with a bunch of children that the van was totaled. The children seemed fine and it blew my mind. Um, but what I want to talk to you about is seatbelts. When your passengers get in your car, please remind them to do your to put their seatbelts on. If you've ever ridden in my car, then you know about seatbelts. Because I always ask people, especially when I'm getting on the freeway, please buckle up. And here's why. And I'm going to go back to that story. Um, there was a seven car pileup. Um, there was a car in the front that its hood just, boom, flew up. And it even dented the roof of its from of the vehicle, I think. From what I could tell, but it was this great car and the hood just boom flew up on the freeway and it had to make an emergency stop. And I was in the pro in proximity. Um, I didn't get hit, um, but the other cars behind and around us were hit. And I remember um, getting out of the car, I was rushing to a couple different places and just making sure everybody was okay. You know, if CPR was needed, I would do that. Um, if people need carried, I would help. Or if they need to stay in place, I would advise them, okay, stay in place, you might have neck or back damage. But one person in particular stood out. There was a gentleman who was driving a blue Ford truck. No, blue Chevy truck, I'm sorry. It was a 1989, and I can see it very clearly because there was a hole in the windshield. The gentleman flew out of the windshield, and from here up was gone because it was scraped on the cement. And that sight wasn't what unnerved me the most. It was his wife got out of the car. She slowly walked up as I was running up to see if everybody was okay in that vehicle, and even now I can hear this I can hear her screaming um, that was probably the most unnerving part of the event and of course there was a lady in another vehicle that she pulled up and she was part of I guess you might call it crisis control on the freeway um, and she was very calm about the situation she'd obviously seen stuff like this before but that man wasn't wearing a seatbelt and he flew and from here up became part of the pavement. So wearing a seatbelt is a very serious thing. Those children in that van that was just smashed up. It was an old van and it was just smashed. I mean seriously, both doors on the sides were missing, the sliding doors, they were gone. Okay, the front of the car, the hood was gone. I mean the thing was just demolished. But the mom, the dad, and the three kids in back, all wearing seatbelts, all fine. No visible injuries whatsoever. That should tell you something. That should be very strong. That should be your key factor in this is, okay, the person who didn't wear the seatbelt, um, he is no longer with us, and he left a screaming widow. The person with the seatbelts, um, well, they... They're perfectly fine. Like everybody who was wearing a seatbelt that day was fine. Um, so please, please let your passengers know if you see them without a seatbelt, especially if you're getting on the freeway where you're going 60 miles per hour. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been hit with something at 60 miles per hour, but you're not walking away from that. Okay. So if you ever hit something on the freeway, God forbid, that means. Whatever is stationary is going to go forward at 60 miles per hour. That's an insane speed. You can't throw a punch that fast. 
that's, I mean, that's the speed the arrows go. You know what I mean? So please advise your passengers, put your seatbelt on. Most of them will comply. Most of them don't care when they first get in. You're not a cab. You're a rideshare driver. This isn't, you know, I mean, in the city, it's not so bad because most I've gone is 30 miles per hour. And that's if I'm lucky. But stay safe out there and be sure to subscribe, okay?